Hi everyone, welcome to Things Lucy Reads. I'm Luce and this is my October Plan With Me video. I haven't done one of these in a while but I recently bought a ring light and it's incredible so I thought that I would test it out and make one of these. I apologise for the fact that my head pops into frame uh, uh, fairly often in this video. Um, I didn't realise that that was happening until after I'd taken the footage and obviously once you've done a plan with me that's it, you can't do it again because you've already done those pages in your journal. So. We're just going to have to deal with it. So usually for October I do like a fairly generic spooky autumnal Halloween-y theme but in the Southern Hemisphere the pagan celebration that happens on the 31st of October isn't Samhain, it's Beltane. So I'm a Halloween Grinch this year because it's thematically and seasonally inappropriate actually for it to be Halloween-y because Samhain for us happens in April I think. Like we have one, it just happens six months from now. So instead of going with a you know spooky autumn vibe I've gone with a pastel spring witch vibe uh, with assorted generic Halloween things like skulls still included because that's witchy as well and at heart I am a basic bitch. Uh, the stickers that you can see on the left there are from a shop called Fox and Cactus and so is this washi tape that I'm using. I will link it down below. All of these stores are in Australia so if you live here you'll be fine. If you live in the US, your order either won't arrive or it will take a very long time to arrive and the shipping will be very expensive because of the times we're living in. If you live in the UK or New Zealand, you should have no issues. In my experience, mail from the UK and from New Zealand is not affected at all. So there's that. So this is my habit tracker on the side. I fucked it up a little bit. I put like grey stripes and I should have done mauve stripes because my intention was to use the mauve to like fill in the habits and it doesn't show up over the grey. You can see me testing it out there. So I've had to go with the magenta, but it's fine. It's not the only mistake I've made this month in the journal and sometimes you just have to live with it. So I'm using uh, Statler Fine Liners for just the pens and then the mauve one is a highlighter from Kmart. The brand is Anko, that's their home brand. The magenta one is a Crayola Super Tips and then I have a Tombow brush pen for the grey. So this is my, uh, it's sort of like a weekly spread except it's the whole month. I, I used to do, not like week by week, but I would have like um two lots of a double page spread of like each day of the month spread out like this and I would write my to-do list for that day but I procrastinate a lot and some things are like not urgent and they don't need to be done specifically that day and I was just stressing myself out by rewriting it every day so instead of doing that I do it like this now so I have one box for each week of the month and a few extras and so that way I can just write down all the things I need to get done that week and it doesn't so much matter what day I do it on as long as they get done. And sometimes they don't get done until the next week and that's fine too. Um, but obviously I have three boxes left over usually so I fill them by doing a monthly to-do list which is things that just have to be done at some point in the month and it doesn't matter what week. Underneath that I do my TBR for the month and then the last box on the right side is for things that are upcoming the next month like birthdays or holidays or appointments that I've booked in advance, that kind of thing. Just so that I have a little bit of a... Um, like somewhere to track them that I can easily refer back to when I'm doing the next month. These title stickers are by Pages and Constellations and again I will link them down below, also an Australian store so the same deal applies. Uh, you might have noticed that the lighting changed just now, I had a different light setting on my ring lamp because if I'm just using it as a light I put it on the like the yellow not the white because the white's a bit bright for just general use and then I filmed this and I forgot to change it so we're just going to go with this now. That bookshelf sticker is by Planning by Prashanti, I will link it down below, it's an Australian store, probably you can only order from it if you're in this country, sorry. These are my uh, general spreads that I've been doing pretty much every month this year, uh, my book haul on the right there and then books that I've started reading and want to finish this month, not that I probably will, and then books that I've read in, in, their, in their entirety this month. Oh, I can't speak. And I stuck that on wonky, so I had to fix it. And 
again, just some decoration. I ended up using pretty much this whole sheet of stickers. It was great. But it looks good, so I'm not mad about it. So this is a page that I've just been doing forever and ever as well. Um, this is my mail page. I live rurally, so I have to order a lot of things online. And usually I fill this page right up because that's just what happens. My postie knows me by name. That's how often I order things online. <laughs> Uh, that little like airmail stripes washi is from a shop called Washi Gang. I will link it down below. But again, it's an Australian store. Which is great if you live here. Not so great if you don't. But Alrighty, and then this page that I'm drawing now is um, I call it self-care Sunday, but it's sort of more just for the whole weekend in general. It's things that I need to do like regularly once a week or that I like to do regularly once a week. And instead of writing them on my to-do list every week, I thought I would just give them their own spread and make it look really nice and really pretty and really appealing. So this is things like, um, you know, floss your teeth, do a face mask, but it's also things like change sheets, uh, refill pill container if I haven't got petrol yet that week it's go and get petrol those kinds of things so not just things I do for myself for fun but things that I need to do for myself and for my living space to keep it clean and tidy and functioning that little ghosty with a boba sticker is also from fox and cactus but it came on a freebie so you can't actually buy it separately sorry about that but I thought it was pretty cute And we've got the cauldrons and the potion bottles because that's sort of like a face mask in a bath, right? A cauldron? A bath with a bath bomb is like a cauldron, I think. It's just a potion that you sit in. Alrighty, and then this last spread is the last one for the month. It's a tracker for all of the new creatures that appear or leave um, the game Animal Crossing New Horizons in October. The insects have seasons and, and the fish as well so you can't catch all of them all year round you can only catch them in certain months in most cases uh, those switch stickers are by planning by prashanti the small ones are by fox and cactus and then the other ones are pages and constellations again they will all be linked down below this is the second time i've done the tracker like this and in aesthetically it looks the same as it did last month it's just different colors um it worked really well for me so i didn't change anything so I have a separate list for insects and for sea creatures, which is fish and ones that you die for, just for, you know, less writing for me. For insects, I track uh, obviously whether they're leaving or whether they're new. I also write down whether or not they're available in rain, uh, where in the island I find them, when on the island I find them, and whether or not I've caught them already. And then I just do alternating stripes because I think visually it looks a little more interesting and it's easier to differentiate a list when it's done like this I think and then I just write down the names of all the creatures in alphabetical order and all of the other details I didn't fill in whether or not they were available in rain because that's a little more time-consuming to find out you have to look each of them up separately um, but I did that later and then for sea creatures it's the same kind of thing except instead of rain I should have written size because they're already in the water and it ultimately doesn't matter whether it's raining or not there are a few fish that are only available in the rain but for most of them it just doesn't matter and so usually instead of writing rain I write size and I had to fix it later and then I messed up because I used um, a sheet of dotted scrap paper that was a different color than my actual journal the, it was white and my journals pages are off white but um, I filled it in with the highlighter so like it doesn't really matter but I know it happened and I'm mad at myself about it then I just had to rewrite the list because I couldn't you can't rub out over like brush pens I found which is sort of weird so I just had to rub that out before I continued doing the stripes and all of this information about um, the creatures is from the Animal Crossing Wikia which I will also link down below 
and they have one of these for every month and it's usually done in advance so yesterday I looked up the November lists and they were all complete as well so it's the best place for this kind of information because it's there whenever you need it and then again with the washi and just a few more stickers to finish decorating and then we're going to do a flip through if I can stick the washi tape on straight it's still not straight now but we're just going to leave it that way I had to double check on my actual switch which ones I've caught because some of them I thought I'd caught them but I've caught them in pocket camp and not in New Horizons so it uh, would have been awkward if I ticked them and I didn't actually have them but it's fine most of them are just available all day but there are some that are only available in the daytime and some that are only available at night um, so it's always good just to check because otherwise you spend hours like looking for this one fish or this one insect and then you look it up and you're like oh it's the complete wrong time of day my bad alrighty so now it's time for the flip through thank you very much for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed it um, I have bought a new tripod which should make it easier to film this um hopefully that will arrive soon so yeah thank you very much for watching please feel free to leave me a comment and i will see you in my next video bye everyone